Hey YouTube, just want to make a quick video. Um, I don't know if you noticed, well I'm sure you noticed, but I don't know if you've noticed going down the road or not. A lot of log trucks have red paint, I've seen blue paint, and I've seen black paint. They all, all the colors have a reason, but uh, the reason why we have red paint on the back of these logs is uh, if it's state wood, you have to brand and paint. And that, that you paint every log, that one up top I didn't get very well, but you see some red on it. I got the other end. That way when they get rolled out to get scaled, um, no logs get missed. And it just ensures that the state, you know, gets paid for the wood that they, that gets delivered to the mill and doesn't uh, get missed. Um, I don't know if you see here, kind of hard to see, I didn't do a very good job with this. See that brand? kind of backwards it's BC 11 um, that's brand that's we called brands brand and paint and it's exactly the same thing that farmers used to do with the cattle it goes way back uh, it's just a hammer some of them are actually welded on a hammer this is a pretty nifty nice one here um, same exact thing just ensures you know you see it with private sales too they'll have their own whatever brand um, I think Chilton's, Chilton has their own, a lot of tree farms have their own, the state, whatever job they're on, they assign a brand to it. And the theory with that is, is when you smack that log, it transfers the force about 10 to 12 feet through the log, so that if someone tries to steal the load, and what I mean by that is, let's say you have a Jippo that's not honest, hurting for money. Um, the Jippo, like on average, let's say it gets 40% of whatever this load is worth. Let's say this, you know, say this load's worth three grand, they'll get 40% of it. Well, if you flush the butts and didn't want to be honest, took it to the mill, wrote up a ticket for your own job, whatever you did, you'd get 100% of that price instead of the 40%. So to ensure that the state doesn't get screwed or robbed, you br you're supposed to brand and paint. So that's why we branded paint. Side note is, a lot of times, see I got four wrappers on here, even though it's all long logs. Um, Oregon requires four wrappers, and Washington requires three. There's a couple exceptions to the rule, but general thumb. Anyways, see I branded painted both ends. And then in my pocket here, hold on here. I got what's called a hard card, or see, hard copy, black people call them all different things. About the thickness of a business card. I'm just gonna staple that back here. This is tracks this load. This tells you what, oh, if you open it up here, see here. That way when the mill gets it, they know exactly what job it comes from, who loaded it, where it's going. I don't know if you can see it very well. Blah, 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 all that stuff, the number of logs. So I'm gonna get my stapler out here. Let's carry a, have my back pocket. Staple it back there. And another, the nice thing about the hard card is, you know, in case I made a mistake, screwed up, did something dumb, got used to going to Warehouser over and over, and then all of a sudden got switched somewhere else. That way this load goes to the right, right, location so if the mill gets it they can say oh this doesn't belong here you know so anyways that's why we brand and paint uh, state log sometimes private jobs um, so just wanted to share that with you guys thought you guys think that's cool and uh, I don't know if you can see but it man it's raining pretty hard I'm soaked already just standing out here so, you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.